Ronan is a boy born in Port Elizabeth, raised in Galvandale. We are a family of five, my parents and three siblings. Uh, but sadly, along the way, 10 years ago, I lost my brother. And yeah, f sport has always been in my DNA. Both my parents played, both my siblings played as well. So yeah, soccer has always been in my DNA. And yeah, my family as a whole, as very sporty people, they all played. My father was actually my first coach and the main person who had a, a role in my life was my uncle. You know, he was also a goalkeeper and he was my coach as well. And I've always, you know, wanted to be like him. And I always used to go every weekend, you know, and sit behind his goals and watch, you know, uh, his games. And yeah, we've I've always wanted to be like him and, you know, and he was the role model for me growing up. and. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've got a small group of friends that I'm still uh, tight with today. You know, we all grew up together. We stayed around each other, played soccer, played all types of sport together. And yeah, you know, the community, they're a very close one. We all know each other. I signed uh, my professional contract uh, when I finished my matric. Uh, and that was in the year 2009, December. You know, at first I, uh, you know, I didn't want to sign, you know, because we had a a lot of good goalkeepers at the time, Rowan Fernandez, but you know, Coach Gavin made me believe that, you know, my time will come, you know, and I eventually I signed and, you know, he promised that I was going to play in the, the CAF Champions League that we were participating in. And, you know, true to his word, uh, he let me play, you know, and not many people know that I made my debut, you know, I was 18 years old and I played in the CAF Champions League. And yeah, I mean, the, the bond has just grown and grown over the years. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's very challenging, you know, it's not easy. I mean, you, you, you're basically giving up your private life. You know, everyone knows you wherever you go, you know, everyone knows you and, you know, you can't have any privacy and that's what we've signed up for, you know, and that's part and parcel of being professional. You know, you can't uh, go out and, you know, do what you want to do, you know, because all eyes will be on you and people will obviously judge you. Uh, but we know, you know, that comes with the with the territory and, you know, it's just for us to remain humble and remain professional at all times. Oh, that's, there's a lot of there's a lot of teams, you know, uh, but most importantly, you know, you look at teams who, who are more attacking, you know, you look at uh, Orlando Pirates, they play a good brand of football, you know, very attacking. You know, but I think I would go at uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, you know, because just because over the years, you know, they've beaten us, you know, consecutively, you know, for the past few years. And, you know, they're just a team, you know, that that's put us to the sword, you know, and it's been very difficult playing against them. I mean, the team that they've got, the team that they've assembled over the years, I mean, it's, you know, they're supposed to be uh, winning league titles year in, year out. I mean... Their squad is, is, is it's unbelievable, you know, and the players, you know, just training with them at, uh, you know, at, when we national team, you know, it's unbelievable how good they are, you know, and yeah, they, they just make it so difficult for you, you know, they're so attack minded. I mean, they both their fullbacks, you know, Langerman, Morena, you know, they're just attack minded and, you know, it makes it so difficult for us. So, yeah, I would say they're the most difficult team to play against. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling seeing the guys again, you know, having a chat. You know, obviously, we there's a lot of protocols that uh, we need to adhere to. And yeah, I'm just glad, you know, that we're back and everything is, everyone is looking healthy and everyone looked after themselves. And I mean, the technical team is happy, you know, with our fitness and how we carried ourselves. And, you know, I'm proud, you know, to be leading this team. You know, it shows, you know, the mentality that we've got as a team, you know, they're strong mentally. It wasn't easy, you know, being in lockdown, training in small spaces, but the guys done it and they came back stronger, you know. So, yeah, I'm just happy, you know, to to be kicking and diving again and, you know, just smelling the, you know, the grass and just seeing the guys and mingling with them again. Yeah, it's, it's amazing feel. It's amazing feeling. Yeah, 
first and foremost, it, I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful team uh, opportunity for me. It's a wonderful achievement. I mean, I'm still, a, you know, a youngster, you know, at heart, but, you know, just it just shows, you know, that the coach has huge belief in me. I mean, he's the first person who gave me the armband back at the academy as well. You know, when I was 16 years old, you know, he made me one of his captains, you know, at the academy. So it shows that he's always had uh, belief in me. And I mean, our relationship has grown over the years. It's just uh, gotten better and better. And I'm, you know, and I'm proud to be his leader. And, you know, him as a coach, you know, he's getting better each and every year, you know, and each and every day. You know, and I'm just happy, you know, that we we got some success uh, together, you know, by lifting the MT and eight. And yeah, I'm just proud to be leading this wonderful club. Things. Um, I'm a huge Drake and Young Thug fan. Casper uh, Nieves as well. Um, anything uh, to do with curry, you know, that's me. I just love eating anything you know that has curry in it um for some weird reason i like cleaning you know i just like the house to be neat and tidy you know and you know i, I love doing gardening you know i love uh, uh cutting the grass and seeing it grow you know it, it, it's nice you know it takes my mind off things and yeah for some weird reason you know i'm into gardening and I was, you know, I was quite good at a lot of other sports as well. You know, growing up, I was very good at cricket, you know, and a lot of people probably won't believe, but I was a sprinter as well, you know, and I was quite, you know, very fast, you know, and yeah, but over the years, I just got slow and slow and lost my pace. Um, it's, you know, it's not in our hands. I mean... You know, there's a lot of teams around us who got the points, who's got the games in hand, but, you know, we know where we let it slip. You know, in, in February, we played back-to-back -back games against Golden Arrows and Stellenbosch, and we lost those games, you know, and that's where we shot ourselves in the foot. So, for us, it's just to finish as high as possible. We know it's out of our reach, you know. Uh, Chiefs is eight points ahead of us with the game in hand, you know, but we'll just continue doing what what we can and, 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 and try and finish high up the ladder as possible, you know. I mean, we've had a wonderful season. We know where we let it slip. Um, but it's just to finish the, you know, the league on a positive note now and finish strong. Just the honesty. I mean, from day one, you know, the CEO, the people at the academy, the coaches at the academy, the technical team, you know, as well as the first team, you know, they all were just honest with me. They told me from the beginning, because I, like I said, I didn't want to sign. And they told me that um, this is the path that you need to follow. You know, you, you must learn from Rowan Fernandes, learn from all the experienced guys. And when your chance comes, you, you need to grab it. And that's exactly what happened. And over the years, you know, there was a lot of interest and talk of me going there. But, you know, I, my mind has always been at Supersport, you know, just for the honesty. I mean... They've looked after me when I lost my brother, you know, they were there, they were supportive of me. You know, they're like second family to me now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm at home here, you know. Our relationship, our relationship is growing each and every year, each and every day, you know. So, yeah, I'm just proud to be associated with this wonderful team. I would say Gabuza, I mean... Gabuza, I mean, I've known Gabuza for the longest time now and he's just the funniest character, you know, he's the funniest person in the change room. When I played with him at the national team as well, he was just a character and I mean, one story I can uh, share with you guys, um, it was not so long ago, he had piles and it was pressing him, you know, he was in so much pain, he had to rush off, uh, you know, the training field and when we came, when we were done training, we came there, he was laying completely naked, his legs up in the air, you could see everything hanging out and everyone just couldn't believe what they were seeing and everyone just, you know, it was so disgusting, but, you know, he was in so much pain and still cracking jokes and, yeah, it was crazy, man. Um, yeah, we miss you guys, we miss seeing you, we miss dancing with you guys, singing with you guys after the games. It's been too long, but thank you for all the... The chats on social media, you know, it kept us going. And yeah, you know, continue doing the right things, following the protocol, stay safe, 
continue practicing social distancing and yeah let's see each other on the field and we'll do our best you know as a club uh, to put smiles on your faces again so keep well and take care